question one if x plus y is 500 and 3x plus 2y is 3000 what is the value of 5x minus y so x plus y is 500 and 3x plus 2y is 3000 so let's multiply this equation by 2 so 2x plus 2y is 1000 and now if i subtract them i'll get x is 2000 and if I put x is 2000 here, then y is 500 minus 2000, which is minus 1500. So 5x minus y will be 10,000 plus 1500, which is uh, 11,500, option C. Which of the following is equivalent to 2x plus 3? the whole squared plus 2x plus 3 times x minus 1 minus 2 times 4x squared minus 9. Okay, so this can be written as 2x plus 3 into 2x minus 3 because a squared minus b squared. And now from this, this and this, I can take 2x plus 3 common. So I'm left with 2x plus 3 plus x minus 1 minus 2 times 2x minus 3, right? So that becomes 2x plus 3, 3x plus 2 minus 4x plus 6. So 2x plus 3 minus x plus 8. 2x plus 3 minus x plus 8, option C. Which of the following intervals could be part of the solution of the inequality? Absolute value of 3x minus 3 is less than 6. So 3x minus 3 could be less than 6 or 3x minus 3 could be greater than minus 6. So 3x is less than 9, x is less than 3 or 3x is greater than minus 3. So x is greater than minus 1. So minus one less than X less than three is the solution set. So minus one to three, right? <clears throat> so it would have to be, so this is 0. 0.5 to 2.5, right? This is 0. 0.25 to 1.5 this is minus 0 0.5 to 0.5 and oh sorry this is 3 not 6 uh, so 3x minus 3 is less than 3 3x less than 6 x less than 2 and 3 greater than minus 3 then 0 so x greater than 0 so between 0 and 2 Okay, yeah. now, yeah, and this is from 0 to 0.5. Okay, so 0 0.5 to 2.5 is not possible. 0 0.25 to 1.5, this is possible. Negative is not possible. And 0 is not possible. So it's B. If n is this, which of the following could be h in terms of n? So n is 2h squared plus 40 by 100, which is h squared plus 20 by 50. So 50n is h squared plus 20. So h squared is 50n minus 20. So h is square root of 50n minus 20. C. If root of x minus 2 is 10, what is 3x? Root x minus 2 is 10, so x minus 2 is 100, so x is 102, so 3x is 306. What is the slope of the line shown? So this is an upward line, so the slope is positive, so it can't be A or B. And <clears throat> the y-intercept is greater than the x-intercept absolute value. 
So the slope has to be greater than one. So it has to be three. What is the equation of the line passing through this and parallel to the line of equation this? So this line has a slope of negative two. So D1 will also have a slope of negative two because D1 is parallel to this line. So I can say Y is minus two X plus C for D1. And because it passes through three comma four, I can substitute that. So four is minus six plus C. So C is 10. So Y is minus two X plus 10. Option C. A circle has a circumference of 400 units. What is the approximate diameter? So pi D is 400, right? So D will be 400 by pi, which is 400 by 3.14. So about 400 by three. So one, three into three, about very close to 133. So the best answer is option A. If three to the power two X minus one is 27, what is the value of half X plus three? So three to the power two X minus one is 27, which is three cubed. So two X minus one is three. So two X is four. So X is two. So half X plus three is one plus three, which is four. If three minus eight X plus five X squared is zero, what is a value for X? So five X squared minus eight X plus three is zero. So five X squared minus five X minus three X plus three is zero. Five X X minus one minus three X minus one is zero. So five X minus three into X minus one is zero. So X is three by five or one. So D. If K is an integer and K plus five plus six by three is greater than 15, what is the lowest possible value of K? So K plus 11 by three is greater than 15. So K plus 11 is greater than 45. So K is greater than 34. So lowest possible value will be 35. Amanda paid $8 for a makeup bag set that was only $15 less than half the original price. What was the original price of this set? Okay. So A was uh, $15 less than half the original price. Yeah. So P by 2 is A plus 15. So P is... 2 times a plus 15, which is 2a plus 30. What is the domain of this function? So 3 minus x should be greater than or equal to 0. Minus x should be greater than or equal to minus 3. So x should be less than or equal to 3. So from minus infinity to plus 3, option B. The lengths of two sides of a triangle are four and seven. What is the possible values of the third side? So any third side of a triangle should be greater than the difference of other two sides and should be less than the sum of the other two sides, right? So seven minus four should be less than a, should be less than seven plus four. So A should be between three and 11. Starting at sunrise, the temperature rose 1.5 degrees Celsius every hour. After 10 hours, the temperature was 40 degrees Celsius. Which of the following models the temperature Y X hours after sunrise? Okay. So we can use Y minus Y1 is M times X minus X1. Uh, M is 1.5 degree Celsius per hour, which is the rise in temperature. And X1 is 10 and Y1 is 40. So Y minus 40 is 1.5 X minus 10. So that's A. 
given fz is 1 by 3 to the power z and hz is this, what is the value of h o f of 0? So which is f of f0 and f0 is 1 by 3 to the power 0 which is 1 and that's 1 plus 4 by 1 plus 1 so that's 5 by 2. What positive number is twice as far from 9 as it is far from 3? So let the number be x. So x minus 9 is 2 times x minus 3. But because we are talking about distances, we should use absolute value. Right? So x minus 9 is plus minus 2 times x minus 3. So x minus 9 is 2x minus 6 or minus 2x plus 6. So uh, if we work with x minus 9 is 2x minus 6, then x is minus 3. So we want x to be positive. And if we work with x minus 9 is minus 2x plus 6, then 3x is 15. So x is 5. And uh, 4 and 2. Yeah. So the right answer here is x equal to 5. The function hx has 0 at x equal to 4. What is the value of a? Okay. So uh, 0 is 16 minus a into 8 minus 112. So 112 is 16 minus a into 8. So 16 minus 8 is, so A is 2. Using the figure below, what is the value of X? Okay, this is 20 and this is also 20. And these two sides are equal. So this is also 20. So then this is 40 because this is the external angle. So then X will be 120. What is the abscissa of the vertex of the parabola defined by the quadratic function? G of x is x squared minus 7x minus 4. So x squared minus 2x into 7 by 2 plus um, 49 by 4 minus 4 minus 49 by 4. So I've completed the squares. So x minus 7 by 2 squared uh, minus 16 plus 49 minus 65 by 4. So the abscissa, the x coordinate would be 7 by 2. If you don't want to complete the squares, you can also find it using minus b by 2a. So b is uh, minus 7. And this is 2, right? So that becomes plus 7 by 2, right? So you can find it either way. Okay, let's grade this. Question 1. Uh, C, C, B, C, D. C, C, B, C, D. Number six, C, C, A, D, D. C, C, A, D, and D. Eleven, B, A, B, B, A. B, A, B, B, A. 16, 2.5, 2.5, and 120, 3.5, 120, uh, 3.5.